first things first. Inflate dinghy. That was because the bilge pump hadn't been running, so there was a little water down there at the bottom of the motor. So, we got the water drained out. We got some new batteries. She needs cleaning up, lubricating, putting some new fuel in it. But, we have success because we have power running. So, we did a few more things figured out on switches. Luckily, after I put my hand through the floor there, I realized I should probably check this spot here. Because if you notice up around here, ow, here are some bolts. And I realized, hmm, we may have a bit of a leak. So that's really rotten. And this is a whole afterthought thing. It's a plexiglass window that was in through that part of the hole. Sorry, that was my phone going off. And uh, it looks like the seals are obviously going to need to be redone because you can see at the top there, there's like extra washers that they use instead of resealing it and fixing it. Um, to keep them from pulling through, they just put more washers on it. So that actually goes all the way down into the rest of the Alma. But, let's see if I can do this without falling, because this thing is actually really high. Okay. Phew. It's hot. Sticky, sweaty. Um, and remember, this is the bench here. It's really super tall. I mean, it's all the way up past my knee as far as height goes. So I have to really climb over this. This is after I took the cushions off. I put the cushions back there, or up there rather, because that's the forward berth. But I had taken them off because it was already really high for me to have to climb up there and then climb across and then climb up and at least get the floors cleaned up because now it's gonna be time to get my stuff, Eric's stuff, the dog stuff. Obviously, you saw back there. the cat stuff. And then we've got all this to go yet. Okay, so far, the trash bag count, um, I've lost count. There was a lot of stuff. This, this was, uh, they got off, didn't really touch anything to take it off, other than their most commonly used items, maybe a duffel bag full of stuff. So I've got all my stuff in, um, you know, closed containers with lids to make sure that they stay dry. So this is a food container. Um, once I get the cupboards cleaned out, because there's still a lot, there's still a lot to have to get out of there. Um, all this stuff's been exposed to moisture. So even the stuff in packages, uh, a lot of it's more than two years old. So, um... I'm going to be trying to get all that stuff cleaned up, at least so that now that the table had been washed, I'm going to put all the paperwork and everything that actually needs to stay with the boat back into the drawer under the bench. 
we are definitely going to be re redesigning a lot on this boat because there's a uh, the access to the almas is there's there's more storage back there um you can't see from this angle but um i will get to that the way that the the openings are is they come all the way back and then there's a little uh bulkhead section that's been cut out so that you can have passage all the way through to the other end this is actually the main body because the almas have access on the outside with other doors that are only accessed on the outside for the outside storage so at some point i have to end up going through everything but for right now we are just going to focus on getting seating arrangement figured out so that it's comfortable and clean so that's why i was cleaning the floor and i have found a boo-boo um so the other part of it is we have to have a cooking space and this stove is ancient it, we're going to upgrade um there's a lot that we're going to do to this. Um, for today, I am not going to worry about the ceiling and pulling all this stuff down. Mostly because it's really gross. I don't want to deal with it. Because I've already been cleaning since we got here. Eric has been running back and forth on the dinghy. <clears throat> not only bringing in our stuff, but then also making sure to grab all the trash bags on his way back. So that way, as the truck is getting emptied out, we have a place to put all the trash bags. And once all the trash bags are all done, getting moved out for today, then we'll start working on the trailer um, as I'm clearing space. So for right now, it's really just been a push and shove and it's really hot. Um, we're actually kind of sitting at a funny angle so the wind's not quite cooperating to keep it as cool as it did last time we were here. So Eric's also gonna run to the store He's going to grab a different kind of fan because what's in here, our DC plug-in, and we're not going to run power through it just yet. Um, we'd rather have the 110 available, so that way we can check all the little added connections that were put in the boat. Um, so, you know, he, I have to give it, give the guy some credit. He was pretty handy for the most part, but there's some issues with the wiring that we need to take a look at before we get too crazy. So we're going to run the extension cord off the generator. We're going to run power off the generator. Um, that way we can save anything that may happen with the boat till we get a chance to run it through everything. Um, we are going to get to a stopping point today because it is getting so hot. There's just not enough airflow through this thing to get it cooled down in order to continue to work. And we're trying to keep from overexerting. So we'll pick it back up again tomorrow. But in the meantime, guys, um, you know, keep getting your notifications. Um, I'm going to keep plugging away at this. I may not do them on a daily basis, but it's going to be pretty close because we're going to be doing something every day. So hang tight, keep yourself notified, get those subscriptions, ring the bell, and hopefully we will catch up with you guys again soon.